Hello, my name is Nancy Tuckman, and I'm speaking on behalf of the IAJU Task Force on Environmental and Economic Justice. It's a privilege to address the presidents of the IAJU and to introduce one of the projects of our task force. By invitation of the Vatican's Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development, our task force developed a tool for universities to help them participate in Pope Francis's seven-year Laudato Si journey. This tool is designed to aid universities in embarking on the journey, starting from whatever your baseline environmental footprint may be. The tool is a website called University Pathways. It's a roadmap designed to assist Catholic universities through the Laudato Si journey. This video presentation begins with a call from Father General Sosa to participate in the Laudato Si journey, then moves to a call from students about their desire to engage with the seven-year journey within their universities. And it ends in a conversation about how to use the Pathways website to lead your university's journey. Welcome to the journey, and thank you for participating. Dear brothers and sisters, we all know that our planet is suffering an unprecedented social and ecological crisis due in large part to human acts. We have upset the balance between God, creation and humanity, and we are experiencing the consequences of this disruption. The cry of the poor and the earth speaks of ecological destruction and the loss of cultural richness caused by a mindset of exploitation. Indigenous peoples or migrants are more exposed and suffer the consequences to a greater extent. In this context, Pope Francis launched the Laudato Si Action Platform. It is a work plan for the next seven years with seven objectives that call for an ecological conversion and set us in harmony with the spirit of the Ignatian Jubilee Year and the spirit of the integral ecology. Through this initiative, the aim is to organize a program of action that, listening to the cry of the earth, might respond to the cry of the poor and assure the rights of future generations. To this first objective, the Laudato Si platform adds six others, namely advancement towards an ecological economy, the adoption of sustainable lifestyles, ecological education, deepening of a spirituality that nourishes the search of ecological balance, community commitment, and active citizenship for the preservation of the environment. I therefore extend an earnest invitation to all to join the process of the Laudato Si Action Platform. This is how we can make our contribution to a more fraternal, just, and sustainable world. On the fifth year anniversary of his landmark encyclical Laudato Si, Pope Francis called everyone to bring his message of integral ecology and environmental justice into greater levels of direct action. He said, our selfishness, our indifference, and our irresponsible ways are threatening the future of our children. I therefore renew my appeal. Let us take care of our mother earth. Let us overcome the temptation of selfishness that makes us predators of resources. Let us cultivate respect for the gifts of the earth and creation. Let us inaugurate a lifestyle and a society that is finally eco-sustainable. Right now, students around the world are engaged in environmental action and are hearing the Pope's call. Students are looking to their universities to be leaders in environmental sustainability and they want to be part of this movement. Many universities are already leading the way with impactful and innovative responses to our ecological crisis. Others are now beginning. No matter where it stands, a university's efforts to heal the earth and human society must include student participation. Joining the journey can enrich a university's student-engaged efforts toward healing the earth in several ways. First, the journey brings environmental efforts together into an integral whole person, whole university movement that includes student participation. Second, 
It calls for more daring, transformative, nonviolent actions. Third, it shines a much needed light on the spiritual dimension of our ecological crisis and earth healing efforts. And fourth, it immediately puts universities in working partnership with other institutions around the world. With the assistance of the Dicasteries Laudato Si Action Platform and the University Pathways website, people and organizations will create their own seven-year Laudato Si Action Plans. Join the journey. Go to the Laudato Si Action Platform and the University Pathways website. Answer Pope Francis's call. We need a new ecological approach that can transform our way of dwelling in the world, our styles of life, our relationship with the resources of the earth, and in general, our way of looking at humanity and of living life. Pope Francis' journey message on May 24, 2021. Well, I would like to welcome you to a conversation that I'm having with a colleague of mine, um, Dr. Michael Shook, and first introduce Michael as a professor of theology, ethics, and also Catholic social thought. He holds a joint appointment as professor both in the theology department and in the School of Environmental Sustainability at Loyola University, Chicago. So, uh, Michael, I'm happy to have you here and really excited about the project that you've been leading for the Environmental and Economic Justice um, Task Force for the IAJU. So you, you started this thing um, uh, under Michael Garanzini as the IAJU and the Task Force for Environmental and Economic Justice Project. But then, it, then Father uh, Josh Kuritadam at the Dicastery kind of discovered you and said, wow, um, can you come and lead the working group for universities for the Pope? Right. And and so now you're leading that working group and it sounds like it's it went from a, a smaller group to quite a large group that encompasses people from all around the world, Jesuit and non-Jesuit non universities. Correct. Yeah. Correct, yeah, we Exciting. have a committee now of about 100 people and wow. from a, you know, a broader range of countries. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's exciting. The Dato C Action Platform is an electronic platform, rather passive. Uh, mm -hmm. Pathways is an electronic companion that's active. It's a living and, and changing platform where universities can, mm -hmm. can load their initiatives, students can load videos. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a place where we can gather to form small groups, have webinars. So it's, um, it's meant to really, as you said, uh, be a, be a helping hand for universities and colleges at various levels of engagement in Pope Francis's vision. Um, and and so you know part of this webinar that we're doing here in the, in this video is to try to encourage more of our Jesuit university presidents to s sign on by writing that letter to mm -hmm. Cardinal Cherney, and then also to enroll by getting on the Laudato Si Action platform filling out the self-assessment and you know then submitting that and that's your official enrollment um, and if they do that by earth day of 2022 they will be considered to be in the first cohort which is a kind of a goal of the iaju right right yeah i think we all in universities struggle to uh, to find how our mission as educators um, connects to the mission of the church and and this is an, a really unique opportunity Very for direct for university connection. presidents to 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 take on mm -hmm. a work of the church inside of the mission of the university. Yeah. And this is a perfect opportunity, yeah. and and I think in some ways rarely uh, is so so wonderfully aligned mm -hmm. uh, to That's a good point. not only the university mission and the uh, Laudato C seven year journey, but the UAPs. It is a way to suggest to students and staff and faculty that we have a faith dimension mm -hmm. to our mission. And this is a faith dimension aligned to our care for our common home, mm -hmm. the earth and, and the poor. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, I just think it's an opportunity that really needs to be taken up. Yeah, certainly for the planet, but also for this um, enrichment of the church as well. In the dicastery meetings that we have almost on a weekly basis, in, in developing the Laudato Si Action Platform and pushing it out. Father Josh makes 
common reference to how he feels that the spirit is moving mm -hmm. in this in this project. That there's a felt sense that um, there is a there there is a authentic, uh, a really sincere spirit that's at work here, mm -hmm. and and I feel that as well. And, and yeah. I think I think for universities to to graft onto that spirit is it's, it's all good. Yeah, <laughs> terrific. Well, I would really love to invite you to sort of walk us through the Pathways website. And if you wouldn't mind just taking us to the website and, and showing us how to move through it, that would be terrific. Great. And thank you so much for your leadership on this project, Mike. It's just been a heavy lift, but a really important one. We thank you for that. You're welcome. All right, well, this is the University Pathways website. Uh, I will briefly explain for uh, in a moment this homepage uh, I, that we're at, but I just across the bar here, I'd like to just mention that we do a little bit of a history of what is behind the Pathways. The heart of the Pathways website is an analysis and, and uh, discussion of the seven goals that we attend to in our university engagement with the journey. Connections involves uh, thinking about how the journey is connected to the UAPs and the uh, Sustainability Development Goals of the UN. Uh, the journeying section really talks, of, uh, talks about how we can help you go through the uh, self-assessment and reflection process inside the Adopt C Action Platform. Uh, the support section deals with forming groups uh, of companions, uh, universities to move through the seven-year journey. So back to this homepage, uh, uh, we have a very ready kind of explanation of what is anticipated uh, in the seven-year process, a quick acquaintance with that, uh, a quick acquaintance uh, with the seven Laudato Si goals. You can double click on uh, any of those and get more information. Uh, a discussion of the added value. Uh, why would a university want to engage in the seven-year journey if they're already doing substantial work on sustainability? Uh, and there are some, some real added values to joining the journey. And that's discussed briefly here. Uh, some reference to this as the journey as really being an opportunity for universities to do some inner work and, and outer work with other universities on sustainability. We invite universities to send us their own initiative, short initiative vi videos that we can put up. And uh, we invite students to put up short videos um, uh, discussing each of the goals and uh, their own excitement over participating in, in the journey. So that's a, uh, it really gets a, a person on board the general idea of the, of the journey. As the largest university network on the planet, the IAJU can collectively make a significant reduction in our environmental footprint while educating and inspiring our students to become environmental and justice leaders. It's our great hope that all IAJU presidents will, one, make the pledge to embark on the seven-year journey by writing a commitment letter to Cardinal Cherney and sending it to the Dicastries University Working Group at IJEP at luc.edu. Second, enroll in the Laudato C seven-year journey by going to the Laudato C Action Platform and completing the university's self-assessment enrollment form. Thirdly, follow the Pathways website roadmap, and if desired, partner with a sister university to embark on a transformative journey toward a more just and sustainable world. We look forward to seeing you at the Boston IAJU delegates meeting and sharing our combined progress on the journey towards an integral ecology. Thank you. <music>